I went to make dinner or help out with the end of dinner because Kaylee actually made dinner and I'm looking for the garlic knots that I put in my basket that I did not come home with. Come to find out I had left a bag here at Dollar General and inside of it garlic knots, ranch style beans, and a can of pineapple chunks. I left it at the store so I had to go back. I haven't done that in a long time. Anyway, I called the store. She said, yep, it's right here. So I came back for it. I hope that whatever you're doing today, you're not leaving your groceries at the grocery store. Happy Friday, 11 o'clock. I'm leaving the gym when the weather heats up. Instead of going out on the trail, I had to come to the gym to get my workout in. I did not realize that our membership expired in December. Yes, you heard that, December. So I walk in and you have to stop at the front desk and give them your number. And you know, your picture comes up on the screen so they know it's you, whatever. We've been members at this gym for over 15 years. I think we, yeah, probably close to 20 maybe. And they have gyms all around town. They just opened up a brand new one. I think they have five. There's five gyms around town. Walking to the treadmill and I hear my name over the loudspeaker. Kimberly Cochran, please come to the front desk. I had to stop for a second and say, wait a minute, was that my name I just heard? I walk back to the front desk and I don't know the girl's name, but she's been working there a long time. So she said, oh, can you go talk to Adrian? He's the manager and he's been there a long time. She said, can you go talk to Adrian? Um, she said your membership expired in December I said it did but I've been to the gym several times in the last probably month because since the weather's been nice I've been outside so I haven't gone to the gym as much but when my friend Paulette calls me and says meet me at Zumba or go to dance fitness class if I'm feeling it I go I walked over talked to Adrian for a while you can pray for Adrian's son. He's 12 years old, his only child, and he wrestles. And apparently he had to have surgery because this week, I think he said it was Tuesday or Wednesday, he was in a wrestling match and I guess he put his arm back and it just totally just crumbled. He said everyone just came racing out of the stands. You could just see that it just crumbled. He had surgery. Adrian was starting to even get a little bit emotional about it. Nice guy, just a really nice guy. Adrian is just, anytime I have friends or family that come in to town, I just give them a call and say, hey, can you leave him a pass for a weekend or whatever up at the desk? No problem. My membership expired. And I don't know how much everyone else pays, but we pay and we get grandfathered in at the price it was 20 years ago or whenever we joined like every four years we pay for a membership I said Adrian you know I forget because we don't pay that often he goes I know four years goes by quick <laughs> isn't that terrible does it sound like gosh how does four years just go by <sighs> I think as I get older time just goes by faster you know what don't worry about it go work out you guys come in next week by the end of the month take care of it whatever you guys are good so I said all right not worried about it he's not worried about it I have an eye appointment I'm gonna go get a prescription I have to get some new glasses happy Friday everyone just washed my face I should probably eat something before I go get my eyes checked. Kaylee walked to Starbucks this morning to get the baby out because the baby wakes up early. And so she's been getting us these refreshers. Do you guys buy this at Costco? It's good. I'm going to put some in a baggie and put it in my purse. Take with me the eye doctor. No refresher with it. All right, just finished with my eye appointment. Holy moly already. I have to get 
Bifocals, bifocals, are you serious? Doctor was so nice. This is my first time going to Kaiser for an eye appointment because we just switched over to Kaiser about a year ago. And I just had renewed my prescription before, so I didn't need a prescription. And now I do. Anyway, after I was done there, I went into the other office to kind of get a price range on frames. So it's gonna be probably around $350 when all is said and done. Well, Raleigh came in for an eye appointment, for his eye appointment, I want to say about two months ago, and he needs glasses, and he just hasn't done it because, of course, I have to ask him 10 times before he does it, and I have to be right next to him holding his hand. Okay, so what time is it? It's 12.45. I need to stop and get gas. I need to vacuum. I need to do some stuff at home. Friday, 4 p.m. I'm sitting on the, right outside my front door and the step out here. Just check the mail. Nothing in it, just my magazine. And Crawley was waiting on something, but it wasn't in the mail. And so Zoe's looking at the rocks over here. Raleigh should be home in a little while. Zoe's going to a swim lesson. She was absent one week, so she's gonna make up a swim lesson. So anyway, after my eye appointment, I just got came home and eeks, ooh, that's dirty. Came home and got some lunch and watched some videos, of course. And then talked to Kaylee for a little while. Brought up the laundry that Kaylee so nicely folded for us. Pretty low key day to day on this Friday. One of our friends call, uh, texted me a little while ago and invited us to the farmer's market and then there's always music down there. It's right downtown in Clovis. Hi. But I'm not sure. Raleigh's always, Raleigh always comes home from work on Friday very tired. So hi. I'm not sure if we'll do anything, but we'll see. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Happy baby.